Well, good morning. I wanted to read to you today from 1 Kings chapter 13, verses 14 through 18. It says, Then he rode after the man of God and found him sitting under a tree. And pause right here and say, it's talking about two different prophets. Now, neither of these prophets are named here from 1 Kings chapter 13. One is referred to as the young prophet who comes and speaks to Jeroboam and makes the prophecy about um, the fall of Jeroboam and the altar that he has created. The older prophet is a prophet who lives in Bethel. It says, the older prophet ran, rode after the man of God, found him sitting under a tree. And the old prophet asked him, are you the man of God who came from Judah? Yes, I am, he replied. Then he said to the man of God, come home with me and eat some food. No. I cannot, he replied. I'm not allowed to eat or drink anything here in this place, for the Lord gave me this command. You must not eat or drink anything while you're there, and do not return to Judah by the same way you came. But the old prophet answered, I'm a prophet too, just as you are. And an angel gave me this command from the Lord, bring him home with you so he can have something to eat and drink. But the old man was lying to him interesting encounter here in 1 Kings chapter 13. I wonder what was going on in the mind of the young prophet. I mean, he had a clear directive from the Lord. The Lord had specifically told him, return home to the land of Judah without eating anything in the land of Israel. Why did he change his mind and go with the old prophet from Bethel? I can't help but think it was the fact that he had an older man who he respected as a prophet tell him a word from the Lord. You know, it's easy for us as younger believers, as younger Christians, to listen to the word of those who are older than we are. And I think that's appropriate that we listen to, we seek the counsel and advice of those who are older when I went off to seminary, it was that way. I mean, some years back, I had grown up in a very conservative, strong Bible-believing church. But I had professors who were telling me things that didn't fit with what the Bible had to say. And as a young man, I had to figure out. I, I had to determine whether they were telling me the truth or not. And I wasn't mature enough to discern the difference. And so these people who had been in ministry for 30 or 40 years that were telling me things that didn't fit with the Word of God, I had a hard time not believing them. But this is why it's critical for us to be grounded in God's Word. If anyone, anyone, tells us something that's contrary to God's Word, whether it's a Bible teacher, a pastor, anyone, no matter how much we respect them, they are wrong and they should not be followed. The young prophet knew what he was supposed to do. He didn't do it. Often we know clearly from God's word what we're supposed to do. We just don't follow through. Maybe it's because somebody we respect tells us something different, but we've got to have the maturity and discernment to know the difference. Now let me pray for you. God, today, I ask that you would help us to be rooted and grounded in your word, to be so firm that if someone tells us something that is contrary to your word, we discern and know the difference. In Jesus' name, amen. See you again tomorrow, friends.